What's good, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be talking about Julian Newman and his professional career and what I think he should be doing next. Before I get into that, I just wanted to quickly say that if you enjoy talking about basketball, anything from high school to college to NBA, please hit that subscribe button. We're almost to 1,000 subs. We may be at 1,000 subs by the time this video drops, but please hit the subscribe button, join the family. And now, with that being said, let's get into the video. So about a month or two ago, I dropped a video talking about where Julian Newman was at in 2021. And in that video, I suggested that Julian Newman should join the Harlem Globetrotters. And I had a couple people kind of respond to that. They kind of thought it was a joke. They thought it was funny or whatnot. But I was being dead serious. I, I think Julian Newman's next move in his career should be joining the Harlem Globetrotters. And I think these are kind of the reasons why I think this would be the best move for his career. So reason number one and why I think Julian Newman should join the Harlem Globetrotters is that I'm not sure what other options he has at this point. As far as college goals, I don't think he'd be eligible to go back and play college ball. And like everyone said in the last video that I made, he didn't really have any D1 offers anyway, any legit offers that is. And so unless he's willing to accept a lower tier offer, which I know his family wouldn't be, I don't think that college is an option for him. As far as overseas play goes, again, there's no offers that we know of uh, that he could accept. I'm not really sure that he would find a credible league that would take him uh, just because we all know how Julian plays. He's going to shoot the ball from 40 feet. He's not going to play any defense. He's going to dribble the ball a thousand times before taking a shot. And yeah, we just know Julian Newman is not good enough, in my opinion, to play uh, overseas high level basketball. And so he really doesn't have uh, another pro option at the moment. And so I think that the Harlem Globetrotters, it's, I guess, professional basketball getting paid to play basketball. And so I think that would be uh, his best move as far as at least continuing to play basketball. Reason number two and why I think Julian Newman should join the Harlem Globetrotters is that I think his play style and kind of just his image in general is kind of what the Harlem Globetrotters are trying to put out onto the floor. Uh, minus the attitude problems that Julian has. Uh, but when you think of the Harlem Globetrotters and their audience, I think it's a younger audience. Uh, and I think that Julian Newman being five foot five, five foot six, whatever he is, I think that gives those kids in the audience someone that they can look at and kind of think that they can be like. Uh, and then in terms of his game, I think it really goes with what the Harlem Globetrotters want to put on onto the floor. Uh, he shoots the ball from really far, not sure on percentages or anything like that, but I mean, if they have their gimmick, you know, four point shot or whatever, uh, you can hit a couple of those, I guess, in game. He dribbles, you know, we've all seen the clips of him going between his legs 50 times, you know, in two seconds. Uh, that kind of fits that whole narrative. And just in general, I think that he's a Harlem Globetrotter type player. Uh, he, he's not an actual basketball player who's going to fit into a pro system and I think he can get some oohs and ahs from the crowd younger kids and I just think the whole thing I think they kind of fit together uh, with the way that he plays and the image that they're trying to portray and uh, just stuff like that I think he's kind of relatable to younger kids smaller kids and I just think that they would match up pretty well and then lastly I think joining the Harlem Globetrotters would give Julian and his family a great chance to grow their brand I know the Harlem Globetrotters are known worldwide, and so it would be a great chance for the Newmans to not just, you know, reach a U.S. audience, but they would be able to capture some overseas fans and grow the brand that way. I think that it would be a great chance for them to uh, collab or whatever, and they can drop some sweatshirts, t-shirts, you know, whatever else they want to drop. Uh, but I think that it would be a good chance for Julian, like I said, to grow the brand, uh, become more known worldwide, and I think ultimately uh, he would end up, him and his family, making more money by joining the Harlem Globetrotters than they would trying to play in some lower tier league in China or wherever and no one really cares about. I think that the Harlem Globetrotters, like I said, they have a brand, uh, people know who they are, and so I think it's again another match that I think would work out well. So overall, this video wasn't meant as like a diss towards Julian Newman or anything like that. I don't hate the guy. I just don't like the way that he plays. I think he has attitude problems. And I think his family 
is way over their heads in the terms of you know level of basketball that he can play. Uh, but I've always said that I think Julian's gotten the most out of his, his athletic ability. I mean, he's 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, and has no, you know, super athletic abilities. And so I think he's kind of just maximized his bas- basketball potential. And I think he's kind of at that point now where it's, it's maxed out and he's running out of options and what to do. And so I think the Harlem Globetrotters would be a great for, fit for him. I think they'd be a great fit for the family. And I think that's something that he should seriously consider uh, if he wants to continue playing basketball, because I don't think that he's actually going to be able to play in any real league and make a career out of it that way. And so those are just kind of my thoughts on the whole thing. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Do you think the Harlem Globetrotters would be a great fit for him? Or do you think he should continue this, you know, dream of his of playing in the NBA someday? Or trying to achieve, you know, whatever professional level he's going to play at. Uh, do you think he should continue that dream? Or just kind of go more of the entertainer, uh, YouTube, Harlem Globetrotters side of things? Let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys later.